Greetings, it's Valerie Ling. I am a clinical psychologist. Um, I am the director and founder of the Centre for Effective Living and I'm particularly this week very excited by that identity um, because our team are working really, really hard on some innovations um, and also because um, I just value and appreciate having people that I work with. Now, oh, <laughs> I wanted to show you one of the best purchases that we made um, <clears throat> in the last six months. I'm just going to flip my camera. He's hiding. He doesn't want to come out. Um, while I'm waiting, oh, here he is. <laughs> That's my laundry that needs to be sorted. There's no shame in that. These things happen. Um, and there's Teddy, but this is Debot. One of the best purchases that we made. Earlier this year, we had an unexpected move into a home that um, had much more floor space than what we used to have. And my particular psychological uh, checkpoint, like one of the things, I don't like surfaces that are cluttered and, and, and disorganized. Tabletops, bench tops, and floors. I can handle that what you just saw in the laundry was a mess, uh, but not the floors. And um, this vacuum cleaner, D-Bot, is a robot, so I'm also a bit of a tech geek, it has sensors. He was really, really cheap, really, really cheap. And we had, um, as a family, talked about it because we do chores together. And, you know, one of the things was like, you know, do we get this thing? Will it actually really work? And having done some research, I thought I would beta test this, right? Let's just try it out. Let's just see what happens if we get a fairly low cost one. I um, went to the store, negotiated for a, a fee that um, we were comfortable with, and then got Debot. Look, this is Debot again. Let me show you Debot. That's my emoji slippers there. <laughs> right. Devon has been the best purchase. Uh, he's got a web app and um, we program him to go every other day. Now, here's the thing, right? We would never vacuum the house every other day, but because of Debot, we are vacuuming every other day. I just came down um, to have my coffee before I present at the Elevate 2020 conference where I'm going to be talking to elite minded business owners on how they can get some really great energy uh, to go the distance. And when I came down, I saw the stuff on the floor and I was not happy. Now, I could have made a choice there. Uh, there's not that much things on the floor, but that was enough for me to be consumed in my head by a dirty floor. Uh, I'm working from home and it's a distraction. I could have picked up the, the um, handheld. So here you go. You can see that I really do like my floors clean because we've got the handheld there. I could have done that myself, but I decided I was going to activate Debot on his non-cleaning day at his non-cleaning hour. A couple of old thoughts run through my head. That's electricity used. That's wasteful. That's like you're being lazy. How hard is it? But here's the thing. Have you ever thought about your time in terms of your utilization value? Uh, if you take how much you're paid and if you work at home, you can Google this. There are actually some calculations that tell you um, really what your value in terms of dollar cents is per hour that you work. If you take your utilization rate and decide that you're going to invest that into vacuuming the floor right before a conference when you need to be using your time for other things, um, it really doesn't translate or calculate. And one of the best energy savers I can pass on to you is to start, start thinking about how can you simplify, how can every minute, every hour of your day be used for the things that matter? both in providing you with pacing, energy, as well as resourcing. And so if you need to actually get a couple of things that make things easier, um, it may not be a robot vacuum, uh, it could be something completely different. Maybe it's a slightly larger washing machine. A couple of years we actually did that because we were realizing that we were spending loads of time doing the whites, three or four washes a week. Uh, we just needed to get the one big washing machine. Um, it, might, it could also be you know, simplifying the way that you shop. A couple of years ago, we just decided that uh, we would shop the rainbow. You know, in our shopping trolley, 
because um, I'm not very good at meal planning. It would take me far longer to meal plan than it would to go to the supermarket and just go bang, 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 bang. Shuck the rainbow. One yellow thing, one purple thing, one green thing, one red thing. What are those things that you can actually really use to simplify it, to value your time and to conserve some energy that could be invested in some better spaces? I've got to go elevate now at the conference. See you later.